YouTube was good. Chavis Crew was happening. What's the Chavis Crew? My family. You guys are in the to that. I'm back with another video for you guys today. All I can say is wow. So we're going to talk Clippers and Nuggets, man. Let's talk Clippers and Nuggets, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for this one. Wow. But before we get into business, y'all already know the vibe. Shout out to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day, another opportunity, another moment to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. You know, I'm just so thankful just to be here another day just to do and continue to do what you've called me to do. And I'm just thankful for your grace and your mercy and your favor that you've placed on my life. I know I don't deserve it. None of us deserve it. And you're still a good guy. And I just want to mimic that, mimic Jesus um, and showing love as much as I possibly can. So shout out to God. Thank you for another day, another opportunity to be me and to be who you call me to be. Yo, this was wild. Like this series was wild. Like the Clippers went up 3-1. Everybody like, all right, you know, five games, you know, they about to get ready. It's going to be LA Clippers versus LA Lakers. And then we have just grit. So down 16 points. Game five, if I'm not mistaken. Comeback win. Down 17 points. Game six. Comeback and win. And win tonight. I didn't even look at the final score. They was up 20 last time I checked. And with like two minutes left, Kawhi checked out the game. Paul George checked out the game. So it was a wrap, but, you know, between 15 and 20 points. What happened? What in the world just happened? What did we just witness? That probably was the worst meltdown by that good of a team that I've personally ever seen in my life. They didn't even get to the conference finals. But is it more about the Clippers or is it more about the Nuggets right now? And it's kind of a toss-up for me. The Clippers were a huge letdown. I think it was all bark. All you heard all season long, Pat Beverly talking. You're hearing all these guys, Lou Williams talking, Montrez Harrell talking. You hear all these guys. Shout out to Trez. You know what I'm saying? You're North Carolina boy. So all the other Trez. But, man, you got all them guys talking the whole year. LeBron, quiet. The Lakers, quiet. The Nuggets, humble. Then you get humbled. You saying you you the new team in LA, man? Come on, man. And they, you had you had everybody fooled too. That's the crazy part. Y'all had everybody fooled. We was thinking it was gonna be Clippers, Lakers. Um, me personally, I'm a I'm a Laker fan. I'm sitting there like, man, I don't even know. I don't know. If we going I don't know. Them Clippers looking pretty good. They had some very good flashes, very good moments. Um as a team and they looked really together. They looked like they were just a formidable um, opponent. They looked like they were going to at least get to the conference finals, at least get to Brian and play against Brian. But wow, those Denver Nuggets, man, that boy, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. Staying lane, man. That man got to have the ball in his hands. What are you talking about? Look, look what he's doing. Like, he's literally solidifying himself as a star. He's a star now. He's a, like a, a real legitimate star. He's not. And he came through in the most important part of the season. That's the thing. A lot of guys can have that success in the regular season. But to have this type of success in the playoffs, come on, bro. He just secured a bag. He just secured a bag. And he's a young man. If I'm not mistaken, he like. He got to be early 20s, 23, 22, something like that. Come on, bro. That boy, that boy cold-blooded. And then Jokic, best big in the league. Best big in the league. You got to play through your two stars, man. And that show, like, this is, like, my mind is blown. My mind is blown. And you know what I think it is? It's a lack of leadership with the Clippers team. It's a, just a lack of leadership. Period, point blank, lack of leadership. Kawhi obviously doesn't have the leadership skills necessary to really push this team over the edge. Paul George, 
Don't, don't even let me get on Paul George. I'm not the hugest fan of Paul George. Just to be honest, and I'm not, this is, none of this stuff is personal. Whatever I talk about is only basketball. Like, I respect everybody else outside of basketball, whatever. I'm just sharing my opinion on the game itself and their game itself. But Paul George, nah, nah. Paul George is a, a good player. He's not a great player. That's just my opinion. I don't think he's a great player. I don't think he's a top-tier player. I think he is a really good player, but I don't think he's a, a superstar or a um, – I could, you know what's crazy? I could see them bringing in the Clippers possibly, let's say, quote unquote, let's say if they were to bring Giannis in, they bring Giannis in. Like I could see Paul George being the third guy on a championship team. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about that. Like, and no disrespect to Paul George, I like Paul George, but I'm talking about as far as playoffs, as far as, now when he was with the Pacers, he was solid. He was all right. But I think, you know, maybe the injury or I don't know. I mean, I feel like he came back playing well and playing lights out. But he's too inconsistent for me. You never know what you're going to get from Paul George. You know, if he's hitting shots, he looks great. If he's not hitting shots, it's like, what is this guy doing? Like, you know, it's, it's just crazy, man. I think it's a lack of leadership. I think it was a lot of talking going on. And, you know, other teams were getting prepared, like Jamal Murray. And, and also, when you leave it up to a game seven, your stars could possibly have a game like that. They probably would never have a game like that again with them playing that bad on that type of stage. But when you play in a game seven, you risk those types of things happening. Like, they just couldn't find the basket tonight. They just could not make a shot, which was unbelievable to me, like, that is so crazy. And, you know, they're going to be dogging Kawhi, I'm sure. I mean, Ka Ka Kawhi's about to get dogged. And if he don't get dogged, this is, I think, it, he deserves to get dogged right at this very moment. But, yeah, man, this right here was just unbelievable. Like, I'm still I'm still in shock. I, like, I want y'all to see my natural reaction. Like, I don't know what to think right now. Like, like it's like a, a mix between... Denver playing really well, like Denver and Miami, those are two really good teams, and they really showing that they can hoop. Two teams that really can hoop. And I and, and, and you know what, though? I'm thinking in the bubble, because those two teams, well, I won't say that they don't have a superstar. I guess I could consider, you know, Jimmy Butler being a superstar and um, Jamal Murray being a superstar, but, um, like, as far as like um, the caliber of superstar that we're used to seeing, um, I think the bubble has eliminated that. It's giving everybody an even playing field. You can't play your your bench players can't play off of the energy anymore. You know what I mean? Like they have to go out there and just hoop. You know, like it's it's you know you can tell what teams are together. You can tell what teams are fighting for each other and you know really care about winning because it looked like they just literally took the fight out of the Clippers. And, you know, it's it, that that was mind-blowing to me. I did not expect that. I thought that they were, you know, I really thought the Clippers had a really good chance. Like, that really threw me completely off. Like, this is, wow. I'm, I'm literally, I'm telling you, I am in complete shock. Up 3-1 Clippers and lose game seven and get smacked. Stars can't make a shot. Jamal Murray, lighting y'all up. Jokic didn't even have a great game. Still control the boards, though. I think he had like 19 rebounds last time I looked. Control the boards and, and still was able to contribute like in a, in a major way that really helped propel the team win. And then Jamal Murray just been playing lights out. Like Sometimes it's good to keep going through those challenges in the playoffs. Like, people always talking about being tired all that. Man, them guys young. It's a young team. That boy, Jamal Murray, young. Them, them legs young and fresh. He, he, he ready to go. He ready to go. But one thing that stays intact is that mentality that they have. They always have to be locked in because every other night you have a game. Every other night you have a game. It was game seven. Two days later, you're playing game one. You know what I mean? So they got that rhythm going. So, man... This upcoming series versus the Lakers is going to be an exciting one, man. And um, uh, Shout out to Jamal Murray. Shout out to the Nuggets, man. Another thing, too. Doc Rivers, 
I'm side on you right now, bro. All that talent, all that talking, and then y'all take a L. Up 3-1, and then lose. Mm, they got to live with this until next season. I wonder what it's going to be like next season for them. Like, they they can have a good team, but I still, it just feels like they're missing a leader. Like, Chris Paul would be good there. Um, they, They're missing a leader. Just like the Bucks, The Bucks, them and the Bucks right now are in the same boat. Like, they got a really good amount of talent. Now, I think the Clippers got a little bit more talent, but I think also the Clippers got a little bit more Hollywooded styles. I think, because I think Chris Middleton, is, in my opinion, is and could be just as good as Paul George. He's an all-star kind of guy, too. He can hoop, too. He can go get buckets, too. He can lock you up, too. Like, you know, don't, and no disrespect to Paul George. I think I think Chris Middleton could be just as good, you know, on most nights, you know what I mean? But, you know, I just think literally that, you know, those two teams need a leader. They need a leader in that locker room. They need a voice in that locker room. They need a, a, a floor general, a point guard that's going to, Make everything go. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about that. Doc Rivers? Uh, I don't know, man. You got out coach, too. Shout out to Mike Malone. Shout out to the Nuggets. Shout out to Miami Heat, man. I really like the way the Miami Heat and the Denver Nuggets are playing, man. Y'all let me know what's y'all favorite team to watch in the bubble right now. I'm liking the Miami Heat and the Nuggets, man. Like, them, they're just really good teams. Of course, I like watching my Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, I, I'm definitely enjoying watching those two teams, like literally lay it all out there on the floor, um, every single game, man. But yeah, I definitely had to bring this to y'all, man. This is, this is wild. I ain't even really going to edit this like this. This, this was mind blowing. I'm, I'm sitting here still stuck, but shout out, shout out to, to the Nuggets, man. And Clippers, y'all got some work to do, man. But yeah, man, thank you guys for tuning in. As usual, I appreciate all the continued love and support that you guys show. Make sure y'all keep hitting that like button, subscribe, comment, tell a friend and tell a friend to pull up on this channel, man. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Y'all know what's up with me, and y'all know the slogan. God is love. God loves you. I love you. Chavis crew.